Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, so what I got to do today is actually give this beast a oil change. So I have some Nutella T6. I'm using the 540. Um, I like this oil. I'm like sure there's, there's so many threads and posts on say forums of like, hey, what's the best oil for this truck? Um, my personal opinion is as long as you stay on top of your oil changes and the intervals that you're supposed to be replacing the oil at, um, really there's, these, these things are going to be, uh, they're not going to act up. Uh, they're going to be perfectly okay um, with whatever oil you use, whether that's T4, whether that's Motorcraft, whether that's Royal Purple, Amsoil, you can get into all that. Um, but my personal opinion and uh, choice for oil is going to be the Rotella T6 5W40. I think they actually came out with a new uh, weight of oil for the T6. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to throw in today. I got a Motorcraft um fl 2051s oil filter all right so i got three quarts or three gallons or four gallons of oil waiting to get thrown into this beast um but before that i want to actually show you the purpose of this video today i'm not going to show you like the ins and outs of how to do oil change on this truck because i know there's plenty of videos that can tell you how to do that i can show you how to do that uh but the reason why i am bringing myself to the camera today is to actually install and show you what a Fumoto, what is that called? Fumoto oil drain valve, uh, the benefits of it and why I'm actually gonna install it in this truck. I had it on my last one, really loved it, made the, the process easier. It just makes your oil drain time significantly uh, slower. Uh, I think it'll take in between 20 and 30 minutes to actually get the entire 13 course of oil drained if you actually use the Fumoto drain valve, but if not, if you don't, I mean, if you're not, if you're like me, and then you just let your truck sit and wait for it to drain in a five gallon. Oh, and by the way, there's a reason why I waited to actually do this oil change, um, is because now it's lifted four inches with the BDS. You can see that peaking right there. That's a radius arm BDS, uh, four inch lift kit finally installed. Uh, so it's gonna make the oil change much easier to do. Oil changes were pretty much not so much a pain after you know the first time but doing it on the the six seven cummins uh after you got it down doing the you know taking out the the oil filter putting it back in there using that tool uh made the process much easier uh but a higher and lifted truck definitely makes an oil change uh easier uh and the fumoto oil drain valve is going to make the process um easier as well so i think i'm going to be doing my oil changes in between five to 10,000 miles. Uh, I really got to figure out, you know, what's a, what's the good, what's a good interval based off of the way I drive and how many idle hours or so many variations or variables that go into like when you should actually change it. Um, but don't, don't overthink it. A lot of people just go off of what the dash tells them. That's perfectly cool. Um, I'm going to stop rambling and get to this oil change. All right, guys. So just a real quick recap. Here it is. Fumoto engine oil drain valve. F1069. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description. You're gonna need a 17 millimeter wrench to actually tighten that down right there. I think I think you can actually get by with that ratchet and socket uh, to tighten this down onto your uh, oil pan. And you actually have some clear hosing. So I'm gonna actually, uh, I'll go ahead and put the link in the description. I won't be able to utilize the clear hose today, but my next oil change, it'll be much easier because all I'm gonna have to do is throw this clear hosing on top of um, that uh, needle valve, whatever this is thing called. All right guys, so here it is outside of the package. As you can see, I think it can focus. Come on, focus. Nope, it's not wanting to focus. Anyways, it's closed. And once you're ready to open it, give your truck an oil change. Okay, that's, that's good. That is difficult to do with one finger or one hand. And you can see the valve is finally open. All right pretty simple a lot of people don't trust these I can see why uh, but they have gotten better and the way it's positioned on the oil pan uh, gives you a little more uh, confidence that it'll be okay to actually run this uh, here's an actual lock and I'll actually show that to you installed um, but that is just another safety mechanism Fumoto does it actually hugs or cradles the little handle um, just to give you a little more confidence that this thing is never going to pop off or loosen as you're driving. That'll be a bad day. 
you'll start getting some warnings on your dash saying a oil pressure level low, you know. So let's go ahead and get into uh, this install. Alright guys, so I took off the stock uh, oil drain valve, as you saw. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send an oil analysis kit, figure out what this, uh, how this truck's doing at 4,000 miles. Um, so, next part is actually installing this thing, and then I'm going to take off the oil filter and finish with that portion. So, uh, stock millimeter size of the oil drain valve uh, bolt was a 16 millimeter. This one's going to be 17, as mentioned earlier and all the tools required for this job, I'll go ahead and throw the link in the description. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure you, it's pretty clean. So, valve is closed. Go ahead and throw this on. Make sure that blue gasket's on there. Just gonna make sure that it's snug too. Just like any other old drain valve bolt, or what I'll keep calling it that, just like any other drain valve, drain bolt. All right, it's your 17 right here. And here's this uh, another safety clip. This is actually just going to throw on and look exactly like like that. All right, guys. So next time I do an oil change, um, the way it's going to be is you open up that um, oh, you take off the cap up in your motor, uh, and all I'm going to have to do is remove this. All right. Attach the clear hose, and I'll go ahead and put the link in the description and then flip this valve down and then this thing is just going to start draining so it's probably going to take it i don't know 20 or 30 minutes even you know if you're waiting if you're patient it's it's nothing so i mean this is pretty much it guys it's a uh, pretty simple makes oil changes much cleaner much easier uh, i got one drip i'm usually pretty good at my oil changes but i usually put in a, a drain a drain mat that i usually use i don't know why i didn't use it this time uh but yeah that's pretty much it all right, guys, let me know if you got any questions, comments. Uh, let me know below.